Hey, it's me, Sam. I got a really easy way for you to watch a live cast. Did you know that if you go to iTunes and subscribe to the live cast, either the high def version or the standard def version or just the audio version, if you subscribe, when there's a new episode, it will just come to you. You won't really have to do anything. You just wake up one day and you'll be like, holy crap, there's another live cast episode. I'm going to watch it right now. Support the show, go to iTunes, subscribe. If it was me, I'd subscribe to all three of them. But I don't expect everybody to do that. I'm a little partial. Will you do that for us? And leave comments too. Say nice things. We like that. Welcome to the Sam Livecast, everyone. It's it's Friday. Is it Friday? It's Friday. It's Friday. It's the last day of Pasta Week. And it really is Friday. We used to say, it's our Thursday, your Friday. No, it is. No, oh. it, is. it really is our Friday. Sorry, it's your um, Thursday, our Friday. Wait. It's last day of Pasta Week. Mm-hmm. Wait. Hello, Max. Hello. How's it going? Good. Hello, Allie. Sorry, hello. We're all here. How are you? Fantastic. Everybody good? Mm-hmm. Uh, last day of Pasta Week. You know what I'm making today? What? What? Uh, crispy gnocchi with mm. basil pesto. Are you serious? Yeah. Wait, what do you mean by crispy? Crispy. So, you know, uh, gnocchi, you boil. Yes. So, I boil them, drain them quickly, then I throw them in a pan with some butter. Oh. And Yum. they get color on and it. It's, gets, oh. I mean, it's so much better. <laughs> Wait, there might be somebody out there who doesn't even know what gnocchi is, so... Gnocchi are, are essentially little, little sort of dumplings, little potato-type dumplings, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. which is not to be confused with the pierogi that I will be making next week as part of Dumpling Week. Oh, jeez. Around the, <laughs> the weeks just keep getting different. better and better. They do, they do, they do. Uh, really quickly, if you want to go and see other gnocchi recipes that we've made or our other pasta recipes, yes. all you got to do is go to thesamlivecast.com or search The Sam Livecast on iTunes and subscribe, leave a comment, and uh, we got lots of good stuff on there for you. Hey, I have a question for Allie. Yes. The last time we, uh, we shot, it was a bit of a grumpy start to the day. <laughs> you and me were fighting. Mm-hmm. Is that right? And if you haven't watched the Lavcast long enough to know that I'm the father and Max is my oldest son of three. Oh, yeah. And we fought last <laughs> time. So here's my question. It's not for you, Max. It's uh-huh. for me. It's for Allie. Yeah. Was it uncomfortable? No. I mean, it wasn't during the live cast, really. It was before. Yeah. But there were moments when you were just like quiet. Well, yeah, I, I'm I not going to like... Was, I wondered if it was <laughs> awkward or uncomfortable for you. I don't think it's awkward. No, I just... See, some people I just... don't just get, sit let, here and let you... Like, Lynn would get awkward. Lynn would think it was Lynn super it was awkward. awkward. Yeah, he would, yeah, like, yeah. want to run out of the room. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, I could... Yeah. Do you, no. like, do you like it, Allie? Do you like it when we fight? Do I? No. <laughs> no, but it's like, it's life. It's fine. I Especially get it. Especially your father and son. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Working together. Yeah. Right. All father right. and son like it this. <laughs> I can deal. Well, speaking of not liking us, let's not forget the immortal words of Gummy Bear, who says, hey, I remember this faggot. Wow, everyone in Cali sounds like a total stoner douche. Those are not my words, ladies and gentlemen. Those are the words of Gummy Bear uh, on YouTube, who has determined that I'm a faggot, and we all sound like total stoner douches. Somebody, (laughs) somebody, we got another comment about being... I think it was sandal wearing faggots. Yeah. Uh, and somebody was like, Gummy Bears yeah. come back as a different name. <laughs> yeah, isn't that funny? And here's another one that we got. Uh, I try to give everyone cooking on TV a fair chance. I am also a chef. But dude, not only are you giving folks bad advice about cooking, you never, in all caps, wear flip flops in the kitchen. Whether you're a chef, by the way, this idiot spelled weather, W E T H E R. That's not even an actual word. (laughs) He could have spelled it wrong, like the weather outside, but no, no, no. This genius spelled it W E T H E R. You never wear flip flops in the kitchen, whether you're a chef, a home cook, or incarcerated. Put on clogs, sneakers, sling back pumps, anything. Maybe if you're at a restaurant. This is not a freaking restaurant. Yeah, it's your oh. house. I think I can wear what I want in my own home. Maybe and if I, I want to cook in fucking flip flops, I'm going to. <laughs> what an 
idiot. <laughs> I don't know so... if it's a male or female idiot. I'm telling you, this all comes from YouTube where it's just... Yeah. Here's what it is. Everyone has a voice. Just like with the Maker's Mark issue we talked about the other day. Yes. They, they made a statement. They were going to lower the alcohol by volume in their, in their whiskey. People cried out. They said, no, nah, we made a mistake. But that's because of the internet. Because people can jump on and they can voice their opinion. This tool can say anything they want about me, but I'm not going to go. I don't care. We don't. We, I, yeah, I used to care, though. Oh, I used to write emails back to these people back in the day. They'd say an asshole and I'd write back. No, I'm not. And here's what I here's why I'm not an asshole. And why? <laughs> why make myself crazy? with? That I just stuff like to me? think about the thousand positive comments yes. versus the one stupid negative one. So do I. And I just love everybody out there who jumps to our defense. And is, I know. By know? the way, by the way, yes. um, speaking of positive comments, mm -hmm. uh, I can't believe how well we're doing on iTunes. Dude, now, I'm not awesome. saying this to blow smoke up my Pretty own cool ass, iTunes. but mm -hmm. I can't believe how well we're doing on iTunes. Yeah, you really? guys are you guys are doing amazing with the subscribing and the comments and the ratings. Yeah, we but really, I mean, really, really appreciate consistently that. in the top ten episodes in food, podcasts in food. Do you know how many? I think we've talked about this. The iTunes people say there's more than two hundred and fifty thousand, two hundred and fifty thousand podcasts. Oh yeah, wow, and we have consistently been in the top 200 top hundy sometimes mm -hmm. it's a little bit like a stock market it ebbs and flows it but is yeah that's pretty amazing anyway all right uh enough of the the nonsense stuff um i did the uh that asian inspired couscous and tuna the other day oh yeah that was so good and mert cox writes yum i love couscous and that's a great combination does the tuna have to be a certain grade I think you've told us before, but I forget. Here's the deal, Mert. You can go to a supermarket and you can buy a beautiful little piece of tuna. Uh, of course, we're raw tuna, not canned tuna, in case somebody doesn't really hadn't watched the episode. Here's what I use. Hold on, let me get it. This is exactly the stuff that I use. You put it right there. So you can see that. See it in the pan? No, you don't. Sorry, we're... Yes. No, wait. There you go. There you go. What were you just two doing? You two were having an offline conversation. We have work I'm back out here. here to, I'm out here mean? working. Look, I wish that my only job was to sit here without my hands on anything and just no, talk to you. your job is to make I sure wish that, that I'm satisfied job. when I'm out here. I wish And when that I put something job. in a pan, you get the shot. Okay. <laughs> Mert will now know that this is a completely rock-hard, solid piece of tuna, right? And you it, got that from Restaurant Depot, this right? This comes from... Look, here's the label. But... I don't know if you can see it. Will you be able to see that if I hold it there? Yep, there you go. Restaurant Depot. This is called the Saku Block. Mm -hmm. It's This is a pound and a half or something. But look, about three hours before I made it on that episode, I defrosted a piece like this. Cut it, and that's what I did. This is not expensive tuna. This is yellowfin tuna uh, treated with carbon monoxide. Oh. <laughs> okay, I guess I'll go with that idea. <laughs> Uh, but that's what it is. Looks so you go, you can go too. get a beautiful, look at that, right? You go the to the pink. store, ask for, you don't need sushi grade for this. Sushi grade tuna is really something that you want to reserve for uh, eating raw. But if you're going to put sesame oil on this and season it with salt and pepper and cook it in a pan and then eat it alongside of the couscous, that is the peppers in it and the, and the, the sugar snap peas, that kind of stuff mm -hmm. uh, with a little Asian dressing. No, you don't need to go crazy sushi grade. What your supermarket has, if your supermarket has a decent seafood section, Mert, you'll be fine using. I know for a fact that Trader Joe's sells beautiful pieces of ahi tuna like that. Frozen like this? Frozen just like that. Right. Then that, then that would be a great place to go. And probably six or seven bucks for a beautiful piece like that. Then that would be a great place to go get it. Hell yeah. But this pan is here in front of me. Not to talk about tuna, not to use it as a landing spot for tuna, but to talk about, do you know what? What? Take my computer. Oh, hmm. isn't that There sweet. it is. Thanks. Foodie Heart, <laughs> Allie's uh, food blog. She talked about banana pancakes a while ago. I don't like bananas all that much. Which you didn't tell me. Which I didn't tell her. I certainly don't <laughs> like them in banana pancakes. He just doesn't pancakes. like fruit or vegetables, period. <laughs> okay. Big He's the we don't, only one not? in our family so that's funny. not like severely addicted to fruits and no, vegetables. No, you guys are. Okay. Uh, really? 
It doesn't matter. <laughs> he just hates I don't like fruit that much. That. <laughs> I don't like fruit that much, and I get shit for it all the time. Yeah. So anyway, we were talking about these banana pancakes, and the last time we shot, Allie brought them. Well, she brought the batter. I, I brought the, the batter, batter for them, yeah. and I was going to do something with them just to taste them, and I didn't get around to it. I got around to it when you guys when you guys left. You made and some I, after we were gone. Yes, and I sent Allie a Are text and I said, <laughs> "I don't like bananas. I don't like banana pancakes, but these things were stupid good. Nice, something like yes. that." So I had her bring more of the batter in today. And I'm going to make you a banana pancake right now, Max. No way. And then I'm going to make something with the pancakes that I make. I'm getting one of these. You're getting one yeah. of those. Yeah. Who took that shot, by the way? I did. Nice. I'm a uh, nice. little butter in the pan, right? You always got to butter the pan. Oh, yep. wow. Already. I was confused. I was like, I mean, I know we're doing pasta week and we <laughs> use that, but I was wondering what it was I'm just going to make you one pancake. And then... And then I'm going to make one of the, the pancakes my way. Ooh, okay. I'm excited. Hey, because don't go this is don't we don't want to get going too long, all right? No, we're not going too long. Don't yeah. worry about it. Here all we have to do is make a couple pancakes and then I'm going to go make the gnocchi. Go for it. So, a little batter in here. Look how look how thick that is. Yeah. <laughs> I'm seriously so excited. It's like the morning too, so I'm getting this for breakfast. Yay. I oh, do yeah. have to say it was really hilarious when you texted me because you wrote me on uh monday right and you were like bring pancake batter with you next time you come and <laughs> i i just think it's funny because i don't think you thought about how it has to be like a really brown really ripe banana oh, oh. so i was like course. looking in the store and you can't buy a <laughs> nasty brown I need a really banana. unripe banana <laughs> right. i forgot okay so so look so, you know what you can you can you can go to uh, Allie's um, blog, which is foodieheart.com, mm -hmm. right? Yep. And here's the pancakes, right? I'll just show you them being made. Mm -hmm. And then she serves them with an egg. Oh, nice. I nice. see bacon. So there's the there's recipe right there. You're not getting an egg, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so yeah, foodieheart.com. Yes. So I turned Overly out ripe I, bananas. I yeah. see that now. I, I had don't a make. friend. Sorry. Oh, you had a friend who had who one? had really brown bananas, and she asked me if I wanted them, so it worked. When out. they look gross, that's the time. Is that yes. correct? Yeah. Okay. When you don't want to eat them. So you're really. making me bacon too, right? <laughs> I'm not making you bacon. Oh you're not my getting god! What the hell? Oh. Seriously, bad. I have to look at that picture and not have bacon <laughs> with my banana pancake. <laughs> hey, look, I could not give you anything in here, ass. That's true. Okay, so true. we've asked Allie to. Um, uh, to come with some stories to talk about, right? Mm -hmm. Yes. Mm -hmm. And are you prepared? I am prepared. So you're going to give us a choice of a couple? Yep. All right, hit it. Anybody we need, it. A, yeah. need a name for this, but we'll, we we'll worry about that after the fact. Okay, so... Headlines by Allie. So I've got... Do you want like little teasers? Yes, give yes, me a little teaser. Yes. And I'll pick. And you may have heard of some of these okay. we'll just pretend like you haven't mm -hmm. no i might okay or maybe you have and say if you have okay um so the first thing is guy fieri uh fake menu that's <laughs> that's the teaser i guess okay. second one um mixing alcohol with diet soda may make you drunker Oh, oh, really? Okay. I don't know about that. <laughs> and I have a cool uh, image, images, slideshow kind of thing of what 200 calories looks like in various foods. Mm. Oh, I want to know that. That one? I want to know that. All right. Okay, so now I got to flip this pancake. There's, it's starting to get, take the shot, I don't know if you can see. I like it when there's color underneath like mm -hmm. that. Oh, yeah. It may have gotten a little bit too much. And I'm not using a spatula. Hold on. Okay, so maybe I made it a little browner. How's uh, that? No Is that okay, Ellie? I like it. Looks good. I was trying to get it. I was trying to get. I don't want it to be too hot here. And then I'm going to show you what I like when I'm how I like to make my pancakes. Lots of butter. <laughs> You're going to see. You're going to see. <laughs> That's what I'm guessing. All right, Allie, hit it. Okay, so what 200 calories looks like in various foods? It's interesting because it goes from obviously an entire plate. Well, that is, is that that's more than one apple. Is it's it? 200 calories. Oh, I guess it's like two like apples it. maybe. Yeah. That easily looks like a couple apples. Right. Uh-huh. Half a little sad cheeseburger. Oh, uh, <laughs> really? Okay. Canned black beans. It looks like 
a whole can. That does look like a whole can, doesn't it? Mm -hmm. It looks good, actually. I mean, black beans, I think we forget. But black beans, when I made the huevos rancheros, mm -hmm. or as Max likes to call them, the huevos grandes. I always say that. <laughs> yeah. Can I see me? Yeah, sorry. Thank you. I was working on something else, my bad. God, I don't know what you're doing back there. <laughs> Do need, it's all show related. I'm not like... <laughs> I don't Do you know, need like, more people? Working on some other project. All right, so pancake goes on the plate for Max. Oh, mm. yes. Right there. A little butter on top. Are you going to bring it back to you me? Need, you need this. No, maybe Alec can just come. Yeah. Do you want me to go get it? Sure. Okay. Sure, why not? Oops, I ripped that a little bit. Sorry. Do you have a fork for me, Dan? I got forks. I got, I got two forks. Now I can take that. Okay. But now I'm going to show you how I like my pancakes. You're, oh, yeah. You're making a second one. I'm making a second one. This one's for me. I won't make it that big. Oops. Tried not to. Mmm. Mmm. Can we see? Mmm. Can we see you eating them? Yes. I'm trying to bring everybody up. Oh, Jeez. yeah. Jeez. Oh, you oh. haven't eaten yet. Take oh my goodness. Oh, yeah, I haven't eaten yet. Don't worry. You thought I dove in without It sounded like you were you. already eating them. No, it was just the smell. By the way, you can make your own pancakes, ladies and gentlemen. Here's proof. Wait, do you take Holy a bite of that, dude? I, I may have cooked it a little bit too much on the top. No, I'm it's sorry. Okay. It's going to be doughy. Do you like doughy things? Mm. Like in the middle? Oh, my God. Yay. Mm. You're digging that, right? Mm. <laughs> Holy crap. Well, maybe she could have a bite. Nope. <laughs> it's okay. It's all mine. <laughs> she made them. How often do you make your own pancakes? Um, mm. I guess whenever I make pancakes, which yeah. isn't that often, but I, I don't normally buy the mix. Okay. Mm. All right. Keep going. Okay. Um, candy, which is obviously... Oh, ten sad little Werther's. Yeah, not who, very that's many. A, That, to me, is a waste of 200 calories. Werther's exactly. is like an old candy. I know, it but who cares? Like I had one the other candy. day. They're actually pretty good, <laughs> but... But I wouldn't eat 10 of them if I wanted 200 right. calories. Well, you'd think that it'd be more calories in, like, fast food. Still, though, like, there's no way a half Wait, a, a half a burger is the same as half a chicken sandwich? I guess. Hmm. Well, hold on. <laughs> no, you hold on. Okay. All right. <laughs> um, well, how many calories for, like, I don't know, a 24-year-old man like me? How many calories do you think you should have per meal? I think it's a couple thousand. No, 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 no. no, no. I mean, day. oh, per, uh, per so meal. Well, it depends. Per meal. Like, I don't know. What should you? I mean, seven hundred. A thousand. If you did thousand, a big meal, exactly. thousand for like dinner or something, or fifteen hundred, and then let's say you had two big meals, and then if you did five hundred, five hundred, and a thousand or something, or no, I'm thinking one thousand for lunch, one thousand for dinner, and then five hundred mixed around with snacks and stuff. That little yeah. thing. I mean, that's only two hundred calories right there. So. Okay, wait, one is okay, wait, okay, come, come back to this. Come back to this pancake, quick. Okay, do you see? Oh, are you burning? Mm -hmm. No, 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 it's a little color. It's got more color than I want. Okay, I'm going to flip it. You see how wet it is? Yes. Hold on. Oops. I like what nice. are called, what I call, half wet pancakes. So you like them? I'm about ready. I'm about 10 seconds away from taking this out. Really? Of the pan. Because I like it when the, when the pancake batter is still wet inside mm -hmm. super and doughy i don't know if that's a terrible thing to do but i can't help it i yeah. love that be shit, careful man. not to burn the house down <laughs> <you> go. <laughs> i'm gonna try to it smells so good i know and so maybe we should shoot every morning and have pancakes that's our new thing mm -hmm. no i'm not talking hold on yeah you're just kind of mm -hmm. but it's basically like eating the dough inside that's still pretty much uncooked. I don't know if you can see this. No, this is, look in here. Look right here. You got to, there you go. Oh, yeah, I that? can see the wetness. Mm -hmm. And that's not, that can't, I mean, couldn't that potentially make you sick? Well, there's, there's raw eggs in this, but they're pasteurized, mm. which are, which are fine, I think. Oh, yeah, I love to watch you eat pancakes, but. We got to get moving. Oh my God. So go let's, go. I want to go through. Okay. Go That's through 200 smart. calories worth of broccoli. Yeah. Ton of broccoli. Doesn't that seem like a lot? Looks like calories a broccoli, for a right? little bit of vegetables. I don't know. Keep going. Glazed donut. Not even a whole one. Not even a whole one. <laughs> Damn it. 
A French sandwich with roll. nothing in it and right. a half of one, which is Shit. bad. Right. All right. This visual is just messing me up. Avocado. Full avocado. A full avocado av- has two hundred. So that could be lunch right there. An avocado, yeah. olive oil, little mm-hmm. tomato. That could actually be an okay lunch. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Two hundred calories. Three. Maybe you're at three or four hundred calories for your lunch with that. So those Subway sandwiches and things that they have in the morning that are 200 calories, mm-hmm. they make on flatbread, egg. That, so I guess that's why I'm, I'm confused. I'm, I guess I'm a little confused because if they can make a whole sandwich on 200 calories yeah, and then just that broccoli is 200 calories, it seems like, I don't know, I guess my measurements in my, in my head are I hear you. being all thrown off by this. <laughs> okay, I'm ready to cook something. Yes, we really, are. You ready to cook something? Are we yep. ready? Uh, are we fully good? Oh, I'm fully good. All right. Here's what gnocchi are. Sorry, wait. We wanted to come back to fixtures read, so just do a quick one. Oh, we don't want to. I can put a commercial in, or we can do a read. In. Okay. 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 Ready? Yep. Okay. So here's what gnocchi are. They're these potato dumplings that look like this. Uh, that are shelf stable. I don't know why they're shelf stable, but you buy them in a, this particular make like this on the shelf in the supermarket. It takes nothing to get them going. Come on over, Max. I'm actually uh, going to do them two different ways. Very quickly, two different ways. So a little heat under each pan. I'm going to put the gnocchi in a big pot of boiling salted water. And I don't even need to make all of them. Ah. Ah, screw it. What am I going to do? <laughs> Leftover gnocchi. But you know what? I always tell you, you, when you put pasta any kind, and it is pasta weekend, just give it a little stir so nothing sticks. The gnocchi are ready when they float. And here's what we're going to do. One of them, I've already said, we're going to make them crispy. One of them I said we're going to do with a basil pesto, which I have here. And the other one, I'm just deciding now, I'm going to do with a little tomato. So I keep tomato paste in this tube. It's a really simple way to do it. You can add it to soups or uh, sauces, all kinds of things. Or in our case, we're going to add it to this. So these two pans are getting hot. I splashed a little water in here. And then we're going to add a little butter to each of these. Let it slowly start to melt. Mm Mm-hmm. We are very close to those guys being ready, the gnocchi, and then you're going to see how we get them crispy. So the normal thing to do with gnocchi is just boil them. When they float, then you toss them in a sauce or olive oil or cream or garlic, whatever you want. So we're just going to take them right out of this and put them in these pans where they're going to start to get nice and brown. That's a cool little fishing net you got there. That's what it's called. Really? It's called a fishing net. Chinese fishing net. For taking things out. Those guys are almost there. So here's the pesto. And I mean, you can make your own pesto. Pesto is really easy to make. In fact, we made it ages ago with fresh basil out of the garden here. But I just wasn't up for that. And I don't have basil growing right now. So. so it's just that simple. That is done. Gnocchis are starting to float. Beautiful. Tomato. Hmm? Huh? What else do I need? Maybe a little bit of garlic for the, the tomato one? How's that? A little Why bit of garlic. Why not? Why not? We've got it right here. Watch what we can do. Can't do anything without my garlic press. Shit. Here it is. Okay, check it out. Boom, boom. So now we'll start here. We'll take some of these gnocchi out, scoop them up like this, and they'll go in this pan. Wow. And then the rest of these guys, hello gnocchis. This pan, hello gnocchis. (laughs) (laughs) They're sort of cute. Aren't they? So now they're going to start taking on a little bit of color. Now I can turn them up a little bit more. And when the color starts to get into them, 
that's when we're going to add what we're going to add. I love it. I love it. This milk is out. <laughs> See the date? So 23rd. 20, 23rd. Uh, this is supposed to still be good. You know what? Sour. I don't get it. <laughs> I don't know how they know for sure. Jerry Seinfeld does a whole act about that. What does the cow turn around when they're being milked and go, April 19th? No, oh, how do they know? <laughs> they don't know. And how that's why sometimes those dates are no good. How do we know it's sour? We know it's sour because what it would, you drank it bad <laughs> in her coffee. Oh, Sorry lovely. about that. Come on, get a little color on here. I really just want them to get a little color first before I start to add the tomato or the um, uh, basil pesto. Why don't you talk a little bit more about what we're going to be doing next week? Dumpling week. Which I guess... Do you have any ideas of what you're going to be doing? These are actually dumplings, yes. Uh, I'm going to make my own pierogies, which again are potato filled dumpling things. Look at you can see what's happening. See, they're starting to get some color on them now. Wait, look right here. See these guys? I can see it. Nice. Okay, so for this first one, we're just going to do this. We're going to add a little pesto. It's not going to take very much. One spoonful. That one's done. And this tomato one, watch. A little bit of the tomato paste. And I'm telling you, the tube, the tube is the way to go. Oh, this garlic. Squeeze the garlic in. Uh, and a little extra olive oil. And now, look how simple. Wow, oh the smell, all of a sudden, Max. Did you get that smell? It's unbelievable. <laughs> okay, we're done. That's it, that's all that has to happen. So now if I had a plate, I could, uh, how do I want to do this? Let me just put a little bit on each of these. Some right here, come on. You go right here. And these guys right here. Wow. And then you know what they always like? They always like a little bit of cheese. Who Just a little, like a little, little, little parm cheese. right here. And that's it. I love the different colors. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So a tomato one first, a little crispy outside. Hello? Mmm. Mmm. And then look, see? The little brown crispiness on this guy. Oh yeah. Yum. Pesto. Crunchy. Oh my God. Boil them, toss them in a pan with hot butter, let them brown. Eat them like that if you want with just olive oil and cheese. Toss some cream in, let it thicken if you want, or just do this. The tomato, it's fantastic. The pesto, it's fantastic. I love gnocchi. I'm like, it's good, it's hot. Is it? It can sit on your shelf until a night when you come home and you go, what am I going to have? And now you know. And by the way, if you can keep one of these things in the fridge, then you open it up, you take out a tablespoon, you put it back in the fridge, as opposed to having to deal with a can, which can be a little bit of a hassle. Thanks for hanging out. It's been Pasta Week. It's been a lot of fun. Tell your friends. Go to iTunes. Subscribe. And if you subscribe, you don't have to worry about remembering to get the live cast. It will just come to you. Next week, Dumpling Week.
Hope you're back here. We need to talk about College Week. That's coming up too. Thanks for hanging out with us. See ya.